let's solve a couple of questions on slit width in a single slit diffraction now for the first one we have a blue green light of wavelength 4500 angstrom which falls on a diffraction slit and creates a central maximum of angular width delta theta 10 to the power minus 3 radians the question is to figure out the slit width and we can assume that the central maximum casts a tiny angle on the slit all right as always pause the video and first try this question on your own Okay, hopefully you have given this a shot. Now we need to figure out the slit width and we know the wavelength of the light and we know that the central maximum is casting an angle of 10 to the power minus 3 radians. Now we can start by drawing a single slit and a screen and how the pattern looks like on the screen. So this is how it can look like. These rays that are going to meet at the first minimum, they are making an angle of theta. You can see they are making an angle of theta with the horizontal and this part difference right here this part difference this right here so this would be this would be a sine theta but the thing is that the central maximum is casting a tiny angle on the slit so we can we can assume we can assume theta in place of sine theta we can take theta in place of sine theta we know the condition for minimas it is a sine theta which is equal to equal to n lambda now we can we can use theta the small angle approximation we can use a theta and for the first minima, we can use n equals to 1. So this is this is equals to lambda. Now this means that a, the slit width, this is equal to lambda divided by theta. All right. And we also know that the central maximum, the central maximum is casting an angle of 10 to the power minus 3 radians. So if we look at this diagram, this is the total angle that the central maximum is casting. And you can see that. And this angle is not just theta, it is theta plus theta this is 2 theta so 2 theta this is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 radians so theta would be theta would be 5 into 10 to the power minus 4 radians all right now we place theta over here and in place of lambda we place 4500 angstrom so we can first change change this to change this to meters and when we do that this would be 4500 into 10 to the power minus 10 meters because one angstrom is 10 to the power minus 10 meters so after placing these values and let's let's do that a this is equal to 4500 into 10 to the power minus 10 divided by 5 into 10 to the power minus 4 and this comes out to be equal to 9 into 10 to the power minus 4 meters this will be this will be 9 into 10 to the power minus 4 meters and this really is 0 0.9 millimeters all right let's look at one more question here we have thomas who engineers a very small diffraction slit that creates a wide central maximum of angular width 120 degrees when light of wavelength 2000 into root 3 angstrom is shined on it what is the width of the slit so this question looks very similar to the previous one but here there is no small angle approximation as such the, the angle that the central maximum is casting, it's actually 120 degrees. The angle of it is 120. It's not a small angle. Okay, again, pause the video and first try this question on your own. Okay, hopefully you have given this a shot. Now, just like in the previous one, we will start off by drawing what the what the situation is. So we have we have a slit of width A and and the rays that are coming out from the two ends, they are meeting at the first minima point let's say that p this is the first minima point so this is the first minima point and if that is true then that means that the part difference between a and b if if we can draw that this part difference this part difference right here this would be this would be a sine theta and that will be equal to lambda because for the first minima point, we, we generally we write n lambda, but for the first minima, n is equal to 1. So it turns out to be a sine theta equals to lambda. We need to figure out the width of the slit. So a really is lambda divided by sine theta. Now we know what lambda is. It is 2000 into root 3 angstrom. So we can write 10 to the power minus 10 meters divided by sine theta. Now what is theta over here? Well, if we look at the question, we see that the central maximum is of an angle of width 120 degrees. Now, since we know that the central maxima lies between the first two minima points, it kind of look 
kind of looks like this right so the central maxima it lies between these two these two first minima points and if this angle is 120 degrees if this angle right here if this is 120 degrees then half of this would be 60 degrees so this angle theta this angle really is 60 degrees because the rays that are coming from this end a they are really going to this point p and they are making an angle of 60 degrees half of 120 with the horizontal so this is sine 60 degrees and sine 60 degrees is root 3 by 2 so root 3 really gets cancelled off 2 remains but let's just write let's just write everything so we have this is root 3 by 2 root 3 gets cancelled off this 2 goes to the top becomes 4000 then 4000 into 10 to the power minus 10 that is 4 into 10 to the power minus 7 meters and we can write this this as 0 0.4 micrometers because one micrometer that is equal to 10 to the power minus 6 meters so this is option c all right you can try more questions from this exercise in the lesson and if you're watching on youtube do check out the exercise link which is added in the description